Last episode, the UTSA Roadrunners finally got their first win on the season by knocking off Southern Mississippi late and now stand at 1-7 on the season and return to the Alamo Dome to host the Tulsa Golden Hurricane in this Conference USA matchup. What's going on guys? Welcome back to my UTSA Dynasty. We are late in the season now as UTSA is hosting some recruits in for some visits trying to impress those recruits as they look to finish the season strong. And Tulsa begins this game on offense and they go out of the Wildcat to begin it. Cody Wilson takes a jet sweep, evades some defenders, and he is loose in the secondary. Mike Butler giving chase. He wraps him up at the 27-yard line, but a great first play for Tulsa. And they're on hurry up here, and Garcia, the running back, is still in at quarterback. He's going to take off, and Brown forces a fumble. Eric Brown stripped him, and it was recovered by UTSA, and they catch a break here. After Tulsa starts off fast, UTSA gets a turnover, and now goes to work on offense. Eric Souza hits Jeremiah Muller for an easy four yards, but now third. Third down and four, can they convert? Souza under center, he drops back to throw, dumps it off short left side, Kyle Kacha going ahead to the first down marker, but he's wrapped up two yards shy, and that forces UTSA to punt on their first possession. Tulsa would take over, and their quarterback's actually on the field this time. Cody Green out of the shotgun, handoff, Lawrence Garcia going ahead out of the draw, and on third and five, he comes up just shy, tackled by Steven Kerfiz, our best defensive player, period, maybe our best overall player. And so UTSA gets the football back for their offense, where they face third down and five. Eric Souza dumps it off to Evans Okacha, and he gets the first down. UTSA now at their own 33-yard line. Souza with Anthony Banks behind him. Steps back to throw, but he is pressured and quickly taken down for the sack. Loss of six on the play. Facing second down and long. Souza back to throw. Finds over the middle. That's Jeremiah Moe, the tight end, for a good 13-yard gain. But now facing third and three. Can they convert? Souza quick outside of the sideline. It's caught by Kenny Harrison, the slot receiver. Got some initial separation, and he gets the first down. Now second and eight for Eric Sozzi, fires to the right side, and it's caught by Brandon Freeman. The defender tried to knock it away and missed it, and Freeman is so sure-handed, we trust him a lot to make those big catches. Second and six now for Souza. It's Cam Jones this time, the impact playing wide receiver. He gets the first down and is out of bounds inside of the 25-yard line, but we're backed up on third down and 16. Souza underneath it, Jeremiah Moeller. I missed a deep shot to the end zone because of the DB glitch in this game. That's really annoying. Please patch it, EA. But we send out Sean Ayano to kick a field goal, and he caps off a 13-play 58-yard drive with a field goal. And Tulsa back on offense, but once again a 3-and-out as Lawrence Garcia is wrapped up short of the first down marker. And quickly the Roadrunners are back on offense. David Glasgow off of the option, but he's going to lose a yard on this play. And now on 2nd and 11, Sosa's going to throw again, trips left formation, he's in the pocket, going to fire left side, and it's jumped and intercepted, he wanted Cam Jones, and instead he finds a Tulsa defensive back, knew that one was a bad throw as soon as it came out of his hands, and it's Tulsa's ball now, trying to get some points, Lawrence Garcia, nowhere to run, taken down after a 2 yard gain, ahead to 3rd down and 8, are they going to go 3 and out here again, Cody Green back in the pocket, and look at him dance around now and avoid the sack, fires it downfield, it's caught by Garrett, and that's Kiaris Garrett breaking free and going to the end zone. What the hell was that? Okay, Cody Green, first of all, just shuffled in the backfield for about 10 seconds. Maybe that's a little exaggerated. But come on, man. Why does this have to happen to our Roadrunners? Come on. Anyways, we go 3-0 on our next possession and give the ball right back to Tulsa. And it's not looking good right now. They have the momentum handoff to Lawrence Garcia. Finally getting some running room again. He gets about eight before Mike Brown puts him down on the turf. Third down and two now for Green. We're bringing the blitz. He fires outside. It's caught by Brown, and he's got a first down. He breaks a tackle, and he is tackled at the 24-yard line of UTSA. And the Golden Hurricane are looking to extend their lead before halftime. Third down and six, though. Green fakes the handoff. Now he's going to fire to the right side. It's caught by Garrett again. And Kier is scared. It's out of bounds for a first down. But now second and goal. Green outside pitches it to Garcia off of the option. And he is stopped shy of the goal line by a couple of yards. So third down and goal. Green fakes the handoff. He's going to take it himself off the read option. And he gets nowhere. He is tackled for a loss. And they kick a field goal. And we go to the second half now. 10-3. UTSA is still in this game, but Souza goes down on this first down attempt, and he's going to lose five yards. Second down and 15, Souza, here comes the blitz again, and nowhere to go, he's sacked again, and we would go three and out on our first possession as Tulsa is really getting after Eric Souza. And there's a lot of pressure on our defense, but Mike Butler continues to make great tackles in the open field. 
Third down and seven now for Cody Green. He fakes the jet sweep and throws it outside. It's caught by Crabtree, and he's tackled by Stephen Kerfish short of the first down marker. That'll bring up a long field goal attempt. Snap spot kick from the right hash is up, and it is short. No good. And UTSA will get great field position on their next possession. They begin it now. Eric Souza, second and seven, almost got sacked again, but he gets the pass off to the fullback, Brandon Armstrong, for a good three-yard gain. Third down and four now for Eric Souza. Fires outside. It's caught by Moeller. Spins around. Makes a catch. First down. UTSA up towards midfield. And now we're going to do some power running. This is our offense right here, guys. But now senior running back Evans Okacha power running to the left side for a solid nine-yard gain. Second and one. Souza rolling to his right. Has some options, but he's going to call his own number, and he will get the first down. And that will give us a new set of downs inside of Tulsa territory. And we'll hand the ball off to Evans Okacha. Left side, another solid gain here of seven yards. Good downfield blocking, too, by our receivers. Second and three, give it to David Glasgow, and he pushes ahead for a UTSA first down. A very solid drive right here from the Roadrunners. New set of downs, Glasgow again up the middle. He fumbles the ball. It's recovered by Leonard, luckily there. Dodged a bullet, and now it is second down. Evans Okaja back in the game, power running left side, he's tripped up and he almost gets the first down. They'll call it third down and inches now for the Roadrunners as we go ahead to the fourth quarter and Okaja powers ahead for the five yard gain and he gets another UTSA first down. But as we go ahead to third and seven now, it's a last chance on this drive and Moeller's not going to be even close to the goal line. And there wasn't a whole lot of options there. Maybe could have hit Cam Jones in the end zone. But it's 10-6 to now after an Iano field goal again. And our defense is back having to stop Tulsa to get us the football back with four minutes to go. But look at this catch by Langer. He is loose in the defense. He is across the UTSA 30-yard line. Big gain for the Golden Hurricane. And that has put them in field goal range now. Green hands off to Lawrence Garcia up the gut. And no one's going to get him. He's in the end zone. But a flag on the play. This one is likely coming back here with the holding call on the offense. And we see this so many times it's going to back him up to second down and 18. Tight end in motion, left to right. Green makes another adjustment and drops back in the pocket to throw. Slant route caught Crabtree, and he is inside the 30-yard line for a nice 9-yard gain. But third down and 7 now. Are they going to get the conversion? 2.40 to go. Green drops back. He's going to take off, and down he goes. A loss of 1, and UTSA's defense holds again. What a job they are doing today against Tulsa. Two minutes ago in the game, snap spot kick is up, and Tulsa has a seven-point lead now. One touchdown deficit for the UTSA Roadrunners as they have the ball. Two-minute drill time for Evans Okacha and Eric Souza, and Okacha begins with a seven-yard carry right up the gut. We have time to do some power running. We have three timeouts as well. We'll hand it off to Evans Okacha. Again, a first down, but he is not going to get much more. Quickly taken down after crossing the yellow marker there. And now on first down, Souza's going to pass, and look at this throw he makes over the middle, and it's caught by David Morgan, a lucky play there, six yards, and we will go ahead to third down and four, very pivotal down on this drive, one minute and five seconds to go, Souza, quick pass to Freeman, and usually he's so sure-handed, but he can't hang on this time, fourth down and four, the game is riding on this play. Three receivers out for Souza out of the shotgun. Two backs in the backfield. He drops back to throw. He's a deep right side. And Freeman! Oh my god, he caught that! They're going to call him inbounds at the 32-yard line. What a play. Look at this throw from Eric Souza. There's no way he could possibly be inbounds. But look again right here. His left foot is down. Inbounds. He has control of the ball. That is a catch. What a clutch catch from Brandon Freeman. I might have to call that one catch of the year. But we gotta go back to the field now. Evans Okacha breaks a tackle the line of scrimmage and he pushes ahead for seven tough running yards. Second down and three now. 51 seconds. Handoff out of the shotgun to Okacha. Great block downfield. And Cam Jones seals off the edge. And he's gone. Evans Okacha is into the end zone. And UTSA is an extra point away from tying this game up with 45 seconds to go. So Sean Arnold comes out and the kick is up and good. We have a tie ball game here late in the game. UTSA has completed the comeback, but is not over yet. Tulsa's offense hits the field. Cody Green, Kiara Garrett, slant route, first down, and Nick Johnston takes him down across the 40-yard line of Tulsa. And with a couple of plays here, they could get themselves into field goal range. Hand off to Lawrence Garcia, and he's hit by Rodgers and taken down by Stephen Kerfis. Short of the first down marker, third and inches coming up. They're hurrying up to the line of scrimmage, and Green takes the snap and drops back to throw. He's going to heave it deep left side, looking for the kill shot, and it's almost picked off by Darian Starling, and it's going to bring us to overtime here in the Alamo Dome. 
13 to 13 what a job UTSA's defense has done so far Tulsa wins their toss and they're gonna like to go on defense first which means we gotta do our power running style from a 25 yard line no problem Evans Okacha up the gut six yards it's gonna be second and four coming up now we'll stick in that eye for him they know we're running the football we keep shoving it down there throw Evans Okacha inside the 10 and taken down he is tripped up at the eight yard line and now on first and goal so is a play action this time rolls outside and he fires to the end zone touchdown Jeremiah Moeller takes the lead for the UTSA Roadrunners 20 to 13 but of course here in the NCAA there is a unique overtime format and the Tulsa Golden Hurricane are going to get their fair shot they of course begin from the UTSA 25 yard line Cody Green out of the shotgun Lawrence Garcia to his left fakes the handoff fires over the middle it's over Cody Rogers interception and UTSA gets their second win in a row and Green goes to the sideline I don't know coach what happened there I didn't see the linebacker it's over UTSA wins this game second win at the Alamo Dome in a row and their recruits that have been in attendance have definitely been loving the show the Roadrunners have been putting on for the last two weeks with the way the defense played in that last two-minute drill we had in the offense with that great catch by Brandon Freeman that was just ridiculous and mind-blowing, and then knocking them off in overtime, got to call this one Game of the Year. Player of the game is Evan Zocaccia. He was a big part of this win, but I got to give it to Brandon Freeman for that fourth down catch. But nonetheless, we have our second win of the year finally, and next up we play Marshall once again at the Alamo Dome. Can the magic continue, guys? Thank you for watching. If you're new to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and also leave a like if you enjoyed the video, guys. But thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.